The distances that prevail in the gigantic expanses of space often exceed our imagination. Sometimes some structures of the cosmos are so far away from us that even the light needs billions of years before it reaches our terrestrial field of view. Recently, experts were able to detect one of the most distant, and therefore oldest, galaxies in existence. Though this spectacular discovery is still accompanied by some big questions. Why this is so, and what we have found out so far about this remote collection of stars, will reveal to you in today's video. Excited about groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. A Look Into The Past As we know, the birth of the universe occurred about 13.8 billion years ago. Although the official designation of the Big Bang seems extremely violent, it does not indicate an explosive eruption in an already existing space. Rather, the Big Bang describes that process within which matter, space, and time emerged from a preceding singularity. The term singularity describes in the world of astronomy places where the gravitational force is so strong that the curvature of space-time diverges. In other words, becomes infinite. But how do we actually know how the birth of the cosmos took place? Well, the answer to this question we find if we turn the cosmic wheel of time backwards. As most of you probably already know, the universe is by no means a rigid, unchanging construct. The exact opposite is the case. As a result of the expansion of the cosmos, our galactic home expands constantly. However, this expansion does not take place in an existing space. It is rather the space itself which increases incessantly. If we now look at the development of the expanding universe backwards, we will eventually reach a point where both the density of matter and the density of energy become infinite, which would bring us back to the starting point of the Big Bang. Already some hundred million years after the birth of the universe, the first stars saw the light of day. What for us still represents an unimaginably long period of time is in the overall context of the universe's development, no more than a fleeting blink of an eye. How the cosmos succeeded at that time in transforming itself from an extremely simple initial state into a construct of the exuberant variety is a subject of research until today. You might say our domestic solar system is a kind of galactic late starter. Our home system developed only approximately 4.6 billion years ago. Things were quite different in the case of the galaxy HD1. The light of this remote entity needed no less than 13.5 billion years before it reached us. Expressed in other words, this means that the experts see the galaxy today still in the condition in which it presented itself just once. 330 million years after the Big Bang. Thus, the recently discovered HD1 is no less than one of the oldest known galaxies at all. What initially appeared as a strange red glow on the images turned out to be an absolute sensational find after a more detailed analysis. However, a central mystery about HD1 remains. Why can we see the light it emits at all? Questions and Explanation Attempts At present, it is still completely unclear why the galaxy shines brightly enough for us to detect. Therefore, the urgent conclusion is that billions of years ago, high-energy processes took place in HD1, causing the galaxy to shine surprisingly brightly in ultraviolet light. But what could have been the background of this phenomenon? In this regard, astronomers discuss two possible scenarios. On the one hand, it is conceivable that many stars of the very first cosmic generation were born in HD1. In contrast to today's stars, the celestial bodies of that time were significantly hotter, more massive, and more luminous. Against this background, the unexpected intense brightness in the ultraviolet spectrum could be understood. The second theory is based on the influence of a supermassive black hole. In the meantime, it's considered certain that almost every galaxy center is adorned by one of these gigantic gravity monsters. Our Milky Way is no exception. According to our current state of research, 
Sagittarius A star has a mass of about 3.7 million solar masses. However, this makes it much more sparse than the presumed black hole at the heart of HD1, whose mass would exceed that of the Sun by a factor of 100 million. As soon as a large amount of the surrounding gas collapses into the cosmic giant, immense amounts of high-energy radiation are emitted. If the second theory is confirmed as the cause of the surprising brightness, however, experts would face another mystery. How could such a massive gravity monster come into existence just 30 million years after the Big Bang? In this regard, scientists state that it would be an enormous challenge to decipher the background of the black hole. What is certain, however, is that the discovery of this ancient galaxy was a mammoth task. In total, the researchers of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics completed more than 1,200 working hours, in which they analyzed more than 700,000 structures in isolated areas of the cosmos. As mentioned earlier, HD1 ultimately revealed itself by its striking reddish coloration, a phenomenon known in astronomy as redshift, which is due to the expansion of the universe, as the light emitted by the galaxy also undergoes the constant expansion of the cosmos as it travels through space. The wavelengths are stretched, causing the light to shift more and more toward the reddish end of the spectrum. Glass C13 Hailed as the oldest known galaxy of all time after its discovery, HD1 had to relinquish this title just a few months later, namely, to the Glass C13 collection of stars, which is another 30 million years older than the previous record holder. While the study of this exciting find is once again a vivid glimpse into the past, it also gives us a taste of the future. For Glass C13, has indeed been identified on images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. And, as we know, one of the main tasks of this complex piece of technical equipment will be to search into the coming years for the first galaxies and luminous objects that formed after the Big Bang and during the so-called Dark Ages. In detail, Webb was designed specifically for infrared astronomy. It is up to 100 times more sensitive to electromagnetic waves than its Hubble scientific predecessor. To understand why Webb is rightly called the most powerful telescope of all time, it's worth looking at the following example. If the $10 billion piece of equipment were on Earth, it would be capable of detecting the heat given off by a tiny bumblebee on the surface of the Moon. At the same time, Webb's NearCam operates in the near-infrared range, making it an excellent instrument for detecting distant red-shifted light sources. If you've stopped by our channel lately, you'll probably remember that we introduced you to the first spectacular web images. Among those stunning images was Webb's first deep field. Scientists at the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian used the deep field data to search for ancient galaxies. In the meantime, we know that the commitment of the experts was worthwhile. In fact, they were able to identify two early collections of stars. The first was given the scientific name Glass Z11 and formed about 400 million years after the birth of the cosmos. The stars of Glass Z13 saw the cosmic light of day another 100 million years earlier. Of particular interest, by studying the light spectrum, the researchers were able to uncover some basic features of the two galaxies. Accordingly, the mass of the star collections is given with 1 billion solar masses each. Regarding size, Glass C11 is 1,600 light years, while Glass C13 is again 700 light years larger. For clarification, the astronomical length measure of the light year corresponds to that distance light covers within one year in the vacuum. In detail, this is 5.9 trillion miles. Compared to our Milky Way, however, the two primordial galaxies are pronounced dwarfs. The size of our home galaxy, for example, is estimated at 170,000 light years. Despite their relatively compact size, the early galaxies appear remarkably active. The data collected so far suggests that they emitted enormous amounts of UV radiation, a fact that suggests that extremely large numbers of stars were once formed in the galaxies. But these are not the only findings to emerge from the analysis of the web images. The younger representative, Glass C11, is much less disordered than experts had assumed for such early galaxies. It seems that Glass C11 already had the typical disk shape that we find in many younger galaxies. 
In view of the euphoria that the discovery caused in the ranks of experts, we should not forget, however, that still some uncertainties in the data sets exist. According to the experts, this is because we are dealing with the first deep fields made by a completely new space telescope. However, since the captured light signatures turned out to be very clear in both cases, the experts are sure that their basic explanations are consistent with reality. Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the ancient galaxies recently added to the star charts? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.